We're here with the 2010 prototype Toyota Prius plug-in hybrid. This is a prototype for the plug-in hybrid that will be available in 2012, around the second quarter of the year. And we're here at a parking garage in South San Francisco and we're going to top it up for a bit here. So the major difference is there's a plug-in hybrid port right here with the new industry standard plug-in connector. It's a charge point station. We'll see if our contactless credit card works. There we go. All right, with the brief assistance of someone from India here, we have our charge point connector. This is a 240 volt free station here. This is what the connector looks like. And again, we just plug this in the side of the vehicle right here. And the vehicle will begin to charge. So on the outside, the plug-in Prius looks just like any other regular Prius, except for the power port, of course. Out here in the back, you'll find the uh, only difference between the regular Prius and the plug-in hybrid is the loss, slight loss of trunk room. You can see the, uh, the cargo area is ever so slightly smaller. And that is because under the hatch, you have a slightly larger lithium-ion battery pack. This is the 110-volt charging cable and brick, so you can charge it at home or wherever you are on the go. Using this cable, it will take three hours to completely charge your Prius plug-in hybrid. Uh, using the 220-volt um, charger, either at a free charging station or a home station that you may have installed, will take about an hour and a half or so. So you can see the cargo area is still relatively decently sized and completely usable. We're going to go ahead and unplug here and get back in the car. So turn our charger to the free station here. Close our power door and away we go. The instruments just look like any other regular Prius instrument panel except for this little display over here in the corner, EV distance. This doesn't actually indicate how long you're going to operate electric only like a LEAF. This, uh, uh, this indicates how long you're going to operate in EV mode. EV mode will attempt to use uh, the lithium ion battery pack for motivation of the car, but it won't use it exclusively. If you exceed around 64 miles an hour, if you attempt to accelerate too quickly, it will actually start involving the gasoline engine in the locomotion of the vehicle. Um, it does, however, improve gas mileage even when you're going over 65 miles an hour. You can think of it as if it would take, say, 20 horsepower to go 65 miles an hour on the freeway. Uh, the engine in a normal Prius would be providing the majority of that power, but in the plug-in Prius, in EV mode, the battery pack would be providing the majority of that power or at least half of the power, something around there, um, allowing the gasoline engine to operate a little bit more leisurely and get you better gas mileage. You also see over here on the other side, there's a little EV plug icon that also indicates that we're in EV mode. And when you're in EV mode, you still have access to power in eco mode, which can be accessed by these buttons on the dash here, eco mode, power mode. The dashboard has very similar displays to the regular Prius. You have your hybrid system indicator, which allows you to see how much power you're using, whether you're operating economically, how much charging is going on, battery status. You can uh, cycle through your trip odometer here. We can say that on my 64 mile commute so far today, I've achieved an average of 87.4 miles per gallon. Uh, over the 742 miles that we've had the car, we've achieved 66.4 miles per gallon, which has included some high-speed driving on the freeway. Uh, we can cycle through and see our most recent consumption. If we'd been driving, this would have little bars, and it would show you uh, your average fuel consumption in five-minute increments. You can see our, our past uh, trip records every time the uh, trip odometer has been reset. Trip A here, you can see that uh, the overall mileage has actually been fairly high. Uh, we can also see the percentage of our driving that has been in EV mode. This is a unique display to the plug-in hybrid. Let's see if we can get closer here. And again, 
This display does not really indicate how much time you've been driving electric only. It really just displays how much time you've been operating in EV mode. And that's over the past 743 miles. And then we cycle back to our usual energy monitor display where you can see where the power is going. The Prius plug-in uses three separate battery packs. This is slightly different than the regular Prius, which only uses one nickel metal hydride battery pack. In this plug-in, we actually have three. There's one lithium-ion battery pack to operate in regular hybrid mode. It's fairly small. The capacity is around the same capacity as a regular Prius. And then we have two larger battery packs, which operate in tandem uh, to operate the EV portion of the vehicle. So when you plug it in at night, you're charging those two EV battery packs. Uh, charges one first, and then when that one's full, it actually switches charging modes and charges the next battery pack. And uh, likewise, when you're operating the vehicle, it will discharge one battery pack completely, and then it will move on to the next battery pack and discharge the next battery pack. So right now, the car indicates that our EV range is about 2.4 miles. But as we accelerate here, um, we've noticed that when you reach the end of the battery pack, the car does something very interesting. Rather than just simply turning out of EV mode and dumping you immediately back into a regular Prius, it actually kind of blends the two modes together. So as you approach the end of that, that uh, battery pack range, it starts using the engine a little bit more frequently than it would before and at a little bit lighter of a throttle touch than it would have before. So the big thing that we've noticed with the Prius is I live at about 1,300 feet and I have to go over a 2,200 foot mountain pass to get to work. So in this trip, it's about 23 miles from my home to the bottom of the hill. And in that 23 miles, I will tend to average about 99 miles per gallon because the vehicle stays in EV mode that entire time, even though it's used the engine now and then to help me up over the hill. At about 30 miles away from home, I've averaged 96 miles per gallon. At around 40 miles from home, I've averaged 93. At around 50 miles from home, the average has gone down to about 85 miles per gallon. And by the time I finally kick it on into the office, I'm around 83.4 miles per gallon. So even though my daily commute isn't 13 miles, the hybrid does have a definite impact on my fuel economy. When I decided to choose not to charge it one night, uh, I averaged about about 55 miles per gallon on my way to work that one day. Uh, and that again would be indicative of what you'd get in a regular Prius. So this ends up really being, for my daily commute, about a 30 mile per gallon improvement in fuel economy on my way to work. Unfortunately, my way home, I you know have to climb back up the hill and I don't get that down the hill boost that I do on my way to work. But my average still does seem to hover around 72 on my way home, which is still a considerable improvement over the 48 miles per gallon that the regular Prius achieves on that same trip.